Do you want to know how you can make the sunny experience of your investors feel like a breeze while remaining fully compliant with the FINRA and SEC regulations? Just stay tuned. Welcome back to Solusign's channel. My name is Sofian, and in case we haven't met before, I'm the founder of Solusign, a digital transformation agency that helps financial services businesses grow by automating the collection of your signatures and data in your document. Whether you're starting a new hedge fund or have been running yours for quite some time already, this video will show you how you can automate the signature process of all the little documents so that you can spend more time growing your fund rather than chasing signatures and paperwork. If you're like most of other funds, one of your biggest time suck is compliance. And what you care the most about is to earn the trust of your investors so that they can bring their friends and family. One of the problems is that your investors will need to complete the document very differently depending on whether they are an individual or applying with a spouse, an IRA, a trust, or even an entity. And so based on the type of investor, some fields will be required and some fields will need to be skipped altogether. Whether you keep the old ways of doing things and do everything manually on paper or send emails, not much of a difference. In the end, there's, there'll be a, a lot of back and forth between investors and your admin team creating a lot of frustration and you're just wasting more time before your investors can wire you the money. Or you could just fully automate all of this like other hedge funds at the forefront of technology have done. And as always, if you're interested in making your subscription process highly efficient, you can follow the link in the description of this video to either book a complimentary call or send us a message to explore our consulting options. So now let's take a look at what you can do instead. So first, you're going to need a DocuSign account. With DocuSign, your documents will automatically route from um, investors to anyone else who needs to receive a copy or sign on the documents. So for example, once the um, investor signs, then the spouse will receive a notification asking them to sign. And then once the spouse has um, signed, it's for the managing partner of the fund to countersign the subscription documents without you and or anyone really chasing or moving paper around. And so the really cool thing is that your investors don't need to log into an account. They can just access the subscription documents from their emails um, using a mobile device if they want. Now from within your DocuSign account, you're gonna create templates. And so the templates will include your PPM, ANR, investment management agreement, your subscription documents, as well as uh, W9. DocuSign will guide your signers throughout the signing process and ensure that they don't miss a field and that they enter the information in the field correctly formatted. Now let's take a look at what you'll need to do in your subscription documents. So for example, if this radio button is selected, then this box appears. This is just simple conditional logic here. What you'll also want to do is to add some um, data replication logic in your document so that your signers are only asked to enter the same information once so for instance um, the mailing address of your subscriber here will copy automatically in the, uh, the W9 and anywhere else really where you might be requesting that information again there's no point asking for the information more than once if you've already got it things get a little more complex when you realize that you're gonna need a different template for each signing scenario so what do I mean by that? Because I don't know in advance whether my investors will want to subscribe with their spouse or as an IRA, I need to have a template ready for the two potential scenarios, one with the spouse and one without the spouse's fields. So for example, if I go on my page, 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 page 47, here I've got the spouse's fields um, and I've got the subscriber's fields. And I can't create a condition in DocuSign that says, if there is no spouse, there is no signature for the spouse. So you need to have different iterations of the templates with and without signature fields for all the different scenarios. So for example, here I've got one for um, an individual, one for a uh, joint application, one for grantor trust applications, one for entities, and one for IRAs. They're basically the same template, but with different fields inside of them. Okay, so your template will take care of most of the work. They will route the envelope to the right people and make sure that no info is wrong or missing. But now we need to take care of another thing, the distribution. 
because you don't know who will sign the documents in advance. For example, you don't know your investors, spouses, trustees or custodian names and emails. You won't be able to send them the envelopes yourself. So for the distribution, what you will need to do is to create power forms. If you're not familiar with power forms and want to learn more about them, you can check my other video. But they're basically links that anyone who has the link can access to send the envelope um, so that you, the sender, don't need to send the envelopes by entering their details yourself. So for example, instead of sending envelopes by entering the name and email of your recipient in DocuSign, you'll just need to send them the link of the power form um, to your investors or their attorney who will input their name and email of all the subsequent signers. So they'll be able to input the name of their spouse, custodians, or anyone else who need to be uh, included in the signing workflow of your documents as well. So here's how it works. Um, if I access this power form, for example, I've got a URL. This is the power form for a joint application. So the subscriber receives the, the link of that power form and just need to input their name and email. Then they can input the name of their spouse. I'll just pretend this is my spouse email and I'll click on begin signing. Automatically I'm taken into the signing experience and if I click on continue, I can click on start. I'm taken straight to where I need to add the um, act on the document. So you can see that the name, my name is here and the name of my spouse also appears um, on the document. I don't need to check that I'm an individual. This is already done for me. And the checkbox spouse is also selected. If I enter my address here and go to my W9, the address appears here automatically. Okay, so we fixed our second problem, which was how to distribute the documents to your investors. But now we need to take care of a third problem. You will end up with a lot of links since you need one link per template and you need one template per signing scenario. So instead of sending a confusing email to your investors with a billion links that they can choose from, what you can do instead is to create a small automation that will guide your signers to choose the right link and the right document. So here is how it works. Your investors will be presented with this interactive questionnaire that will ask them to choose the correct answer. So for example, whether it's the first subscription to the fund or whether it's additional subscription, your subscriber will be able to do either of those things. So you can choose first subscription to the fund, then um, we are asking the subscriber whether it's themselves filling out the documents or whether it's the attorney who is preparing the documents and before the subscriber signs them. So if I choose that I'm the subscriber, then I'm also asked to enter my name as well as my email. We can ask investors to provide as much or as little information as we need on this questionnaire, but it looks nicer to request um, data input on this um, rather than on the actual DocuSign um, signing experience, I believe. So then once they've entered the amount they want to subscribe to the fund, they can click on next. And this is where um, the automation will sort and uh, present the right signing path to your investors. So if they choose that they are a natural person, they'll be asked whether um, they are subscribing with their spouse or not. And if they select no, then there is a note telling them that, you know, if they, if they live in one of those uh, states, and they cannot subscribe as an individual, uh, even if they want to, by law, they have to subscribe with their spouse and they can go ahead and click on submit. By clicking on submit, then the DocuSign Power Form will retrieve all the data that was collected using the questionnaire and populate the fields. And so this is the same, same thing. I, if I click on start, I'm just presented only with the options that apply to me and I can just go through the signing process. The software that I use for the questionnaire part is called JotForm. The cool stuff is that you can fully customize the look and feel uh, of this questionnaire so it can really reflect the branding of your fund and you can even embed it on your website. So this way you're just sending the link to your website to your investors and then the form will do the uh, sorting for you. So you don't need to do any data entry. Your investors will be able to fill this out Actually, the attorneys of your investors and your investors will be able to fill this out as well as anyone else who might need to be included in the um, signing um, workflow of your legal documents. And you can expect an average turnaround time 
for your legal documents um, to be completed under 24 hours. And it only takes a few minutes for your investors to fill out all the information that's needed. And you could even automate this even further by automating the sending um, of wiring instructions as soon as the envelope gets uh, completed and uh, signed by the partner. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope that this inspired you to um, do the same in your fund. If you need help with any of this, you can find the link in the description of this video to get in touch with us. And I will see you in the next one.